But for now, I'm going to go down this road, but I'm not going down to Burnbeck Pier. No, I'm going to go to the fort. I'm going to walk right the way around this bit. I go up through there a lot. I'm tending to keep to the broad paths at the moment. I go right through the wood quite often. I get do that. That's a nice walk, is as well. But I like to make sure I get round all my places. If you know what I mean. And uh, I'm going to stop when I get to the big tree. Because I've been taking pictures of this tree all year round. And now it'd be at its full glory in the summer. It is summer, definitely summer now. And it's nice to be warm. It's nice to feel your bones warm. Although only two days ago my knees were freezing. <laughs> all part of this thing I got. Right, there we are. There's the big tree. There's a plaque the other side. Tells you all about the wood here. There's a little bench there. You can sit and have a picnic or rest. I sit there sometimes. Over and out. Right, video two. Fourth of uh, July 2000. 19. I did a very long video a minute ago, quite a big video. Done it on purpose. Now I'm do doing one of the parallel large pathways. Slightly lower down than, well quite a bit lower down than the main spine. But it is a well used route this one because it'll take you straight down to the Burnbeck Pier area. A lot of bikers use this one. All the time you'll see paths going off, taking you down to other little tiny cantocks, little tiny pathways, uh, little peaceful paths, where I've met, usually I've explored in the past with Brandy the dog. Lots and lots of blackberry bushes out. Looks like it might be a bumper year this year by the look of the flowers. <coughs> We did have like an early heat wave or heat spell, I think they call it now. Um, they refer to call it a heat spell because it's not long enough for a heat wave. Not like they've had in, say, Europe. Um, we, we are more likely to have what's called heat spells unless it goes on for over five days. Um, a heat wave usually lasts a week or so. Two weeks, three weeks, that's what they call a proper heat wave. Um, and we have heat spells. It's lovely though, isn't it? Little bunny lane, insects flying everywhere. A very ancient route used by the Iron Age. The Romans would have been here. I don't care what somebody said that the Romans weren't here, they flipping well were. And coins have been found. The Romans would not have ignored this hill fort, believe me. It has, it's got a commanding position of the Bristol Channel. Um, so there's no way it, it would have been ignored. A very ancient hill fort, of course, Iron Age, probably before that. Lots of battles apparently took place here. There's lots of relics that have been found, artifacts. The hill fort itself is well defined in places but often hidden by the vegetation which some people want to remove. Well I think it's actually holding the fort together myself. But uh, everyone's got to an idea. See a little path there. Follow it down. You'll join up with a slightly bigger path. I'm slightly bigger. Like I said, I've been I've been here. Wind, rain, and snow. Sun and shine. Hot weather, cold weather. Alone and with dog, with brandy mainly. Occasionally with Zara and Georgia. I've been up here with. Um, when the kids were smaller, they used to come out more. Um, I never see anyone anymore. <laughs> Not now. Um, I'm probably too slow a walker for my kids, you know. They 
probably found me find me too slow now um it, i knew that would happen you know when i wanted to walk quick they were up to it and now things turn well i am a bad walker you know i do a lot of miles i do a lot of hours and i don't mind it i go prepared today i'm just taking the basics i've got a packet of cheeselets i've got lots of water and some sweets and a couple of oranges that's all i'm taking because it's 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 an extremely local walk you know very very local and what i'm doing i'm going to be wandering down this lovely quiet and peaceful lane on the hill fort and then i should turn off and i will go up towards the hill fort I'm going to have a look around because it changes all year round um, not long ago they had um, strimmed it right back but it doesn't take long for the thistles and the plant life to fight back and come back and often come back with vengeance all their hard work wasted they've got to do it all again Like I said, there's, there's a lovely path that goes right in the heart of the wood here. That is also very peaceful. Now, this place is different at weekends. And probably, yeah, weekends mainly. Um, mornings and late afternoons, early evening, when people are finishing work, taking their dogs out, or before they go to work. And especially weekends, it's a completely different place. It's, um, herds of people will be rambling about it, enjoying it, of course. That was on Zoom. I don't know how long that was on Zoom. Sand Bay, of course, is over that way. There's beach and the sea. I sort of alternate when I'm in this recovery with this antibiotic stuff I'm taking. I still do what I call small walks. Um, I feel just lying in bed and lounging about, although I've got a lot to do on my family tree. I don't. I still get out. That's why it takes me a long time doing tree now, because um, I do more in the winter. And what I'm doing with all my videos, I'm just saving them straight away. Um, not always doing WMV straight away. Um, I keep the videos and the photos for a time when I might decide to do that. Because not everything goes on YouTube. So the photos will be saved and the videos. And then if I want to combine them for a WMV, um, Windows Movie Maker or whatever you call it. Windows Movie Video, I don't quite remember what it stands for. Then I got that facility, because YouTube like it done like that, you see. Uh, in fact, sometimes they don't like me mixing my photos in with it. Uh, well, I do. And that's how I often do them. Combined with photos. Any minute now, I'm going to be turning off, turning left. There's a sign coming up. And I'll be turning up.
towards the, the hill fort. If you carry on down here, it takes you all the way down with views of Burnbeck Pier. You'll get onto the coastal road and then you can join up, walk back into Western Supermare along the coastal path, the seafront in other words. Not far from me though, especially for bikers and hikers. Down the hill a bit, there's another very well created pathway from Weston to Kewstoke for walkers and bikers and perhaps people with pushchairs. You know, it's been created on purpose because that road down there is it can be dangerous. There's nowhere to really get out the way. You know, it's not really safe for walkers. So they created this path because it is a holiday place. Western is and so is Q-Stoke for people to walk if they want or to cycle and I do that occasionally as well I do do it I do it all and then if you go down there that would take you to the back smaller pathways through the wood that side and that is beautiful by the way and I do that a lot I do pick up parts of the wood that side on purpose. You get deer in here, foxes, badgers, lots of different birds and insects and plants. So I'm going up these steps now to the hill fort overnight. Here we are on the hill fort at Western Woods. The tall grasses, they're growing these grasses on purpose apparently. Can't remember why they're growing, and maybe it's easier to cut the grass than have thistles if you when they want to do some pruning. Um might be easier. Maybe that's why they've planted lots of grass. It's easier to and you can get a crop from it as well. Ah, oh, it's beautiful up here though, isn't it? Not long ago, this was all strimmed right back to the bare ground like this. And now it's growing with various wildflowers. There's butterflies fluttering. There's my tree, my lovely tree. That always reminds me of my hot country for some reason. And um, it always reminds me of the film El Cid. I'm sure they had trees like that in that film. get out I don't even know if my path I normally get through is going to be there or not <sighs> just zoom in there's some plants there look lovely pink little plants I can't remember the names of everything now right in there look a little bit of colour in the grass see eh? Yeah, it looks like they've kept the path for me to walk back to. It's very overgrown. You can walk all the way along here, of course, in through the wood there and round. And sand bay's over there. I'll be due a sand bay walk soonish, but um, it is a place, very, very insect biting place. So. I'm not sure about that at the moment. There's another path, main path that goes to the other side of this grass here. Takes you deep down into the wood. Once again, I'm taking you down to towards Burnbeck Pier and the sea. The trees are looking lovely. They really do look lovely today. I'm so worried they're going to pull them all down. 
They're so beautiful, these trees. I mean, they look dead most of the year. But look at them now. Absolutely gorgeous. Just going to take some pictures.